Hello Minecrafters, this is Binary Guy 10 playing some Minecraft on my own world here. And I was just looking at this gigantic tree that grew up in the middle of our... It's actually four wide by four long. It's a huge tree. It may even be hollow. <laughs> this is where I get most of my wood. Um, what I'm going to do today is do some work on the sheep farm. And first things first, it needs some cleaning up. This has been like this for a long time. I was trying to make kind of a nice foresty area, got some jack-o'-lanterns giving some light up in it. So without further ado, let me do a little bit of work. I'm just going to take a quick look at this. Okay, much better. So we've done a bit of work in a very short amount of time. <laughs> got all the leaves put in, the scaffolding taken down, so that looks great. Um, Got the leaves all the way back through here. I've not totally decided what to do with this area. Um, I'm thinking of putting maybe a garden area slash some sort of farming. farming. But I'm not totally sure yet. So this will remain unfinished. But everything from here on down looks about like it's going to stay. So we're not going to change the look of this area much. What we are going to work on now is getting this to be a little easier to use. Because right now... If I want to get the sheep, I have to stand here, shear them, step on the pressure plate, let the water wash out, wash everything over. It would be a lot easier to do if I could just wire that up to work all at once. So I think that's what I'm going to work on. So I have maybe a little control panel down here. Maybe I could turn the water on button, some stuff like that. That'll send a signal to turn the water on on all these different sheep. So let me just dig out and see what all we have going on underneath here. Okay, so the pressure plate... Let me turn on the sheep a little bit. They're a little loud. So the pressure plate is right here on top of this. This sends a redstone signal out of this block into this one. And there's an inverted torch. So these pistons are activated most of the time. And then whenever you step on the pressure plate, or, you know, throw an apple on the pressure plate, they drop down, and the water flows out. So, essentially, we just need to have redstone um, going through here to simulate this input. And that would work pretty well, I think. Um, one of the other things I want to do, because if we just activate the water streams, we'll still have to go through and pick up all the wool. And I would really like to automate that process as well. Let me grab a sticky piston, or two or three, maybe a little redstone. There we go, got a few sticky pistons, little torches, stack of redstone. I already have some levers, okay, we're good. All right, so, if I break that, break this, break this, okay. So we're going to have a dirt block here, and we want that to be able to be extended and retracted. So, piston there, okay. So what we're going to need is a way to power this piston and this redstone at once. Okay. First of all, let me just power the piston, just so we can... Have our block attached to it? Okay. So what we could do... Let's say if we had a block... Or if we had a redstone here... And... A block here with a torch on top. Alright, so that's going to do all the powering we need it to. Okay, alright, I'm seeing this come together. <laughs> alright, so on the other side, to keep this the signal moving... Okay. Perfect, perfect. And let me just break this out for now. So, if I had a repeater coming out of this side, then that would work out great. So if we just had me had a pathway going down through here, see there's a second farm. 
Same setup. Let me grab a quick repeater. Tell you what, let's not just grab one repeater, let's make a whole stack. May as well, right? Okay, so let's do some crafting. There we go, that should keep us stocked for a while now. <laughs> let's hope. Alright. Let's go back and do a little more engineering on the water streams. Okay, so let's assume the power is coming in from here. I mean, there's a lever on the other side of that block. And it runs into this block. Now we're going to have to have just a block on top of that to keep it from connecting. You see right here, the redstone now goes directly into this block. So, if we had a torch on top of that block, see that's powered now. This is all extended. Now, the repeater would be right here, coming out. Oops, let's see. Oops, that's good. <laughs> a sheep just ate above me. Alright, so this is going to go on through here. And it would go into this block. We would have a block above here. There would be a torch on top of this, like so. Come on, give me my torch back. Redstone here torch here, rest on there, and we're going to cut it off with a block. Okay, so this is off. Let's temporarily open this up. Just so I can walk through. Okay, so we'll put our torch back here. There would be a block of dirt here. Alright, so right now, this is all closed up, and this would be hidden off as well. But this is all closed up. Same thing over here. So then let's just stick a lever right about here. Pull the lever. Alright, and what that does, all right, it opens up this block, which we can have a water stream or something underneath it. And it turns the water on. So you see back through here, and this one we didn't wire up yet. But for this one it did turn on the water. So that's going to work out really great. Because all we have to do is just use the repeater on the other side of the block, because the repeater can pull the current out of a solid block if the block is powered, and pass it on to the next one. And as long as we have a piston at each spot, then we will be in good shape. Perfect. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of digging out, because there's a lot of sheep farms to do. Because I want to make this power all of them simultaneously. Then I can just walk by with a pair of shears, the water will already be pushing them all the way up to this side, and somehow I've got some blue sheep in this pan. I do not know how that happened. But yeah, it can push them all to this side, and then the wheel or the the wool will just fall right down into a collection stream. And we'll probably just put ice underneath that to pick it all up. Yeah, yeah, very nice, very nice. I like it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get that dug out and wire it up, and we'll come back and see what it does. Hey you guys, how's it going? Just figured I'd take out some of these skeletons over here. I had one fall through just a minute ago, and it's like he didn't take any damage at all. And I was wondering to myself, maybe his boots were enchanted with, like, feather falling or something? <laughs> Turns out they were. Protection 1, feather falling 1. Got me a set of chainmail boots. Thank you, skeletons. Good for more than just, you know, bones and arrows and stuff. Oh, I had no restore everything. I should build a storage room for all that. Okay. <laughs> well, I've done a little work down here, and here's what it looks like. So like I was saying before, you can see the redstone runs into the block. On top of the block is a torch. The torch powers piston, piston, and piston right here. And then repeater carries on to the next one. Repeat that eight times for each side. And you've got yourself a pretty good setup. Alright, so... I'll tell you what, let me just turn it on real quick and you can see what it does. What it looks like from underneath. I actually have done the same thing on the opposite side as well. So you can see all the way down. That sheep isn't actually there. If you wait, he'll probably jump back up into his own pen. They're just kind of glitching through the floor. Okay, so. Sheep. You see they all start bouncing? <laughs> I like that. Alright, so what that does, you see all these pistons retracted, and this is where the wool is going to fall in. 
And you can see this is off, so these pistons go down, and this piston pulls back. So yeah, that works out perfect. Just great. I'm glad all the pistons needed the same state. That made things easier to easier to wire up. Okay, so water streams. That's what we need next. Went out and got some ice from the lake. I'm gonna go ahead and get this filled up here. And I have a. I'm gonna use the same trick I used on the old Monkey Mine server for the water streams. So I'm not going to use signs. What I'm going to use instead is I'm going to go ahead and drop down a bucket of water. All right, so that's flowing. The wool is going to drop down here. So I'm going to make sure that my block is not going to be preventing the wool from falling into the water stream. All right, so what I'm going to take is I'm going to take a stone slab and place it on the upper half of the block. Alright, you see that stops the water, because the water takes up a full block. But, if I were to toss like an item in there, it goes right underneath. Very nice, very nice. So, let's see. I'm just going to put together a quick... or infinite source there. So we got that. I'm going to put a block here. Okay, well, let's go ahead and just put all these blocks. I've also been doing a little bit of work to the storage room so that it will extend over a little bit further. So it, we should be able to drop these right down into the mass storage room. Oh, let me drop this here. I'm going to fill up a couple buckets, buy some more water, come back up here. Now if you pick up the furthest one first and then the second one, it'll go right back the way it was really nifty way of grabbing some infinite water without having to like dig a hole somewhere or something. Place this here, place this here, go back and pick up this and this one, move on down. Place that there. <laughs> I like the looks of that, that's cool. Looks nice and clean, like the slabs. Let's go upstairs and I'm gonna grab a pair of shears. We'll do a little bit of shearing and all of the wool should end up like right here. Tell you what, let's go ahead and wire up this underneath here. And then this will turn on both sides. Um it won't pull out the pistons yet. Let's go ahead and add those in. And then we'll pull out the lever and make it all go. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to put the pistons right against these redstone torches. So if I jump, place, that extends, jump, place, back up a little, a little further. There we go. It's a very careful art, placing a piston on a torch. Yeah, getting better at it. Alright. Okay, jump, place. And this is, these are the pistons, remember, to pull out the block underneath so that the wool can fall down into this water stream that we haven't built yet. Tell you what, I'm just going to go ahead and finish putting these pistons up, or the next two pistons up. I'm going to build the water stream, and then we'll come back and we'll shear the sheep and see how it works. If it works as well as we were hoping. Alright, be right back. Hey you, get out of this area. Get back on your pin right now. Go. Go. Go, poke. <laughs> Told you, the glitchy. Alright, so I finished with the water streams. Hey, he just floated down. Luckily, I won't be spending much time down here, so I shouldn't be bugged by them too much. <laughs> but that's funny. Alright, let me grab a piece of iron or two. And, oh, the tree closed up my path. Got a piece of iron, like a set of shears. And two. There we go. Alrighty, so let's turn this water stream on and see how this works. Click. Boing, ba boing, boing. <laughs> it broke all the pressure plates. 
Well, some of them should, some of them should be falling down. We'll go ahead and grab these, pick them up for now. Because it would be horrible to lose pressure plates, I know. So expensive. Alright. Sheer. Wait, he's trying to hit. He actually ate grass. Oh, there it goes, it works. <laughs> he ate grass while I was covered in water. Hmm. Oh, okay, it was not actually sitting there. I was like, oh no, it landed on the, the ledge. There we go, sharing them. Let me try something else. I'm going to hop up on top of the pathway and see if that works better. Sure, sure. Oh yeah, that works nice. <laughs> so many green sheep. There's a good reason for that. Up here. There's green wool behind all of the leaves. So that it doesn't look like dirt behind them. Because I'm playing on fancy. You can see two leaves. Alright, well that that's a good one side. Let's do a couple on the other side just for just to be complete. We probably won't do the whole thing. Sheer. And if it looks like they're going to be getting stuck up here on the ledge a lot, um, I may have to close it off or put glass or something. Because um, we can always just walk across the top to shear them. Oh, I totally missed a hole. <laughs> okay, forget that. I don't even want it. I don't even want it. Just gonna leave it there. Alright, let me stow some stuff in the chest. Get that back out, I might need it. Okay. We got all kinds of stuff down here. Got our red wool, magenta wool, purple wool, all that. And the other side should be the same way. Oh, what a colorful plethora of wools. Um, sure. Toss these in the chest. Okay, so this isn't exactly as convenient as I want it to be. What I'm going to do is I mentioned that the storage room is actually somewhat below this area. Huh, why aren't you being picked up? Okay, I relogged and everything's good. So, must have just been some sort of lag bug. A lag bug. Alright, so, what we need to do is cross these streams. Oh no, don't do it! <laughs> cross these... <laughs> cross the streams here and make them drop down into the storage room down below. Let me run down there and let's see if we can find a good place for that to connect. I was trying to think of some sort of wool sorting system, but I think that we're just going to just let them drop into a chest and just manually sort them. Oh, so yeah. I added on this area over here, finished up this block of uh, chests, added on a new one over here. I haven't quite decided for this. I want to have some sort of cave access over here. Um, and I want to have maybe an infinite water spring. If there's anything else I should add to this area, let me know, because I'm trying to, trying to make sure I'm complete. I'm thinking about maybe having a chest over here that the wool drops into. Maybe a chest here, maybe for skeleton drops from the skeleton trap. Um, we may do that later, but let's see if we take this out. Take this out. Oh, so slow. I had an axe. Oh, gravel. Okay. I have an axe, but it's in my inventory and I'm too lazy to pull it out. Okay, okay, okay. So let me think. Need to make a chest. Where am I going to find a crafting table? Oh, here's one. Oops. Alright, um, grab some iron. I think I need iron for a hopper, right? The, the hopper recipe for the iron. 
Or is it stone? Nope, it's iron. Okay. So let me get my coordinates for this spot. So if you want to drop it right here in the back. Coordinates for this is uh, 322, 272. So 2272. Close. Close that out. And let me just clean this area up. Make it look all pretty. Got some stone. Stone, stone. Okay. <laughs> I know, it doesn't make a bit of sense. Why is he doing this? Mystery, mystery, mystery. Well, as you know, you cannot open a chest with a block directly above it. So, in order for this to work, I need to put like a stair block or something here. Which I need... Yep, there it goes. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. I just picked some dirt so I wouldn't care. Okay, so this goes right here. I'm going to put a hopper right above that, right here. So anything that falls down this hole is going to go into the chest that's going to be right here. So this is going to be the unsorted wool chest. Coming straight from the farm, down on the farm. You know, there's some dark space up there, isn't it? Let me just cobble that in. And we'll put a torch just so we don't get monster spawns, because I don't like monsters spawning where I don't expect them to. Including on top of my hopper. Okay, put this here, put this here, here. Okay, so this is a wool chest. Now, to find out where it connects above it. And that was 322, 272. Put my F3 screen back up. 322. So it's going to be right. Oh, it's going to be back over here. Here. Alright, directly below me. So I'll probably need to run it underneath it. Okay, so if I cut out here. Ah! And look, it picked up that stuff. And this and this. Alright, we can deal with this. We can deal with this. This is going to work. Place this block here. Alright, so where are we going to connect? Oh, there's something. Okay, okay. Ah, this works out nice. So it can just drop right over here. Let me place I need a sign. Let me tell you what, so there's one, two, three. If we keep going over a little bit further this way. Well, I'll tell you what, let's let it run into the wall. There's little G. He wants to be in the video again. Say hi. There goes my light. Let me just block that off for now. That'll make it easier on us. So there's one, two, three. I'm just going to go ahead and dig out a little area because I'm sure it'll be more interesting after I finish digging it. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I've dug out some area here. Let's go ahead and replace this with some ice so that it flows a little faster. Alright, so I went ahead and put some ice under this one. Put some ice under this, and this is just going to go straight over here to this sign, and straight down to the hopper. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Alright, so we break this out. Flows around the corner, off the edge, down. Haha, -ha, there it goes. There it goes. Very nice. Alright, and I can even do this. Let me just... Oh, I'm flowing in, I'm flowing in. Back pedal, back pedal. Safe on dry ground. Okay. Grab a couple stone bricks. Those are gonna go, let's see, here and here. I put dirt here and there, and that should cover over nicely. Alright, cool. So all the water is just gonna go right over here to this. Alright, 
Okay, so if I toss some dirt in, shoop, drops down, and heads out. Cool. Hmm, how to get out of here now? Well, I guess we can just pelt it up or something. Let me just... Yeah, it looks good. Alright, so let me toss some... Get some wool. Put my shears away. Some purple. Alright, so right now it's all open and flowing. Oh! I must have forgot a piston. That would explain why there's an extra one in my inventory, wouldn't it? Oh! Nope, it just can't push it. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I placed that block of dirt there. My bad. That would keep it from working, wouldn't it? Alright, so... If we want to test, we can just... Toss some wool. <sighs> Make sure it lands in the water. Alright, it goes over there. We can look down here. And we can see it popping out. Ah, there it goes. And it's not getting stuck on the edge of the hopper, so that's a good thing as well. How many skeletons do we have over there? Oh wow, like 80. Let me just toss some of these in there. Oh wait. Okay, why aren't you working? How about this? Oh! I bet it's full. Well, that wouldn't make sense either. <laughs> not sure why they're not falling in. Let me let me check and see what's happening downstairs. Oh, when I placed the hopper, oh, I bet I know what I did. Anyone got that one figured out ahead of me? If you've been sitting there screaming at the monitor, I understand. All right, see the hopper is full of stuff. But, the hopper is not connected to the chest because I never placed it that direction. Alright, when you place the hopper, you have to make sure that you point it in the direction that you want it to attach. And I did not. Okay, so this should work better now. Alright, let's go back upstairs, throw some stuff at it. Alright, so we got all kinds of stuff in there, and it should be dropping through over here in just a moment. Whee! Whee! And it's getting all picked up. And that's what we want to see. And that is just perfect. Okay. Put a block there, and a block on top of it, and that should be hidden quite nicely. That'll turn off the water. And close up all the trapdoors. Alright, so we should be good to close this up. And I'm not really going to put like a service entrance or anything. I'll just remember that I can pillar down this corner right here and it'll work out just fine. Okay, very nice. Well, this is turning into a little longer episode than I was originally planning, so let's go ahead and... <laughs> let's go ahead and grab a healing potion, kill some of those skeletons off. Oh yeah. Okay, we have about 90 of them there. Alright, so who's ready to crash the game? No, it actually handles it pretty good. I think we'll be alright. But this way, there's going to be a lot of stuff flying out of there though. So, Alright, here we go. Here we go. Wait, is that more than 90? No, go 85. I was getting some sheep in there. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh, one of them survived. Oh, he's wearing full armor. Well, didn't take too much more. Oh, look at that. This pants, chain legging. <laughs> Maybe I should go for a full chain mail. That'd be fine, right? Alright, well, that is going to be enough for this episode. Um. We're going to need to put it some sort of... Eventually I want to put a toggle or something here so I can let him drop here. Or just drop down and maybe get sent over to the other chest. Because that should be cool. 
Um, and then there's always the village. Lots of stuff to do. All kinds of stuff to do. Oh, that wall needs to be put something there. I have some cool ideas. Do you have any other ideas too? Yeah, just leave them in the comments. Love reading your comments, guys. Alright, well, I have to go. This has been a long episode. Thank you all for watching, and have a good one.